Welcome back to Academy Lanes in Haverhill, Massachusetts. It's the Mixed World Championships, match 20 of 21 in progress. First one-string match here. Coca-Cola all of a sudden is tied for first place. Penny Lane undefeated, 17 0 has lost the last two, including one to Coca-Cola. Amanda Carroll led off for the 10 and the 9 for Coca-Cola against Mark Hart Ford. We saw for the 12 through 2. Aaron Merrill on the right now for Coca-Cola. Mr. Fair Chance. Brenda Magdalene has the 3-6-10 left up for a 7. 9 for Aaron Merrill. We're scrambling around here with Dan Esdale as we move over in between matches, try to cover the uh, Top teams now down the stretch. 21 strings, 22 teams, three days. 5 1 Friday, 10 yesterday, 6 today. We're in match 5. So bear with a second as we get set up here. It's kind of like a uh, change of the fly, like hockey. But it feels that way. Aaron, great ball. Five pin left up the kingpin. 72% chance to convert. The Pro Balls that would, according to Spread Eagle Production stats, Brenda Forsman left the 1, 2, 4, and 7. And right on for a spare. 19 of the ball through 2. Coca Cola has a chance to tie or win. If they tie Penny Lane after the next match after this, it'd be a one string roll off. For the right $10,000, runner up $5,000, top five get paid. Brenda, a, set, a 10, 17 through 2. All right, Tim Cook coming up now for Marquardt Ford. Craig Holbert, the Hall of Famer for Coca-Cola. The left-hander on lane 20. Right in the pocket. Has the 247 and the 8 behind the 2-pin. One piece of wood. Tim Cook goes left, gets 3. Holbert's open. Cook, nice ball, almost. Nine pin took a wrong turn. He's up to ten. Holbrook at ten, Cook at ten. Early on is forty to thirty-nine. Is that right? Forty to thirty-nine? It's it's 48. 48 to thirty-nine. Nine pin lead for Coca-Cola. Trying to punch a ticket in a potential tie or win the Mixed World Championship. Penny Lane, the defending champs. Look unstoppable, but they've lost two in a row all of a sudden. Holbrook, missed to the right. Wanted that one. Mad. High standards. Holbrook, two tens, 20 through two. Tim Cook, a spare, 20 the ball through two. Still getting uh, sort of the here, on the fly here. Looks like Josh Daly taking a break this string. But Coca Cola tied the ball 21 strings in three days. Chris Harris. Goes left. Steals bunch. He has the one and the six. Jason Gothier. Fourth left the one, two, four, and seven. 
A spare for Harris. And a spare for Mark for uh, Jason Gothier. Ten of the ball each to start this string. Two points for a win, one for a tie. Coca-Cola can at least control the destiny to at least tie for first place. Jason Gothier, 24 years old from Holy Oak Mass, high single 179, high triple 444. Balls out of Canal Lanes. Oh yeah, come on! Harris, five in the fill. Five for Jason Gothier. 15 through one for both. Nine pin lead early on for Coca-Cola. Harris looks good. Oh, what a try! Oh, he got it! What a shot for a spare! Wow! That was a dry wow. <laughs> Sounded sound like Johnny Most. Let's kill my bird! <laughs> and a spare for Jason Gothia. What a start! Both with 25 through 2. Already a thrilling start here. Only fitting for this, this uh, championship round. Championship matches. 20th string of 21. Could have asked for anything better, could you? No, absolutely not. Anchor ball is Bob Wickham from Pembroke Pass. Future Hall of Famer. Breaks up the split. Has the 4 7. A tailor made piece of wood. Here's Tim Hazard. Let's get wood to help. The 1, 2, 4, 8, and 10. Bob Wickham for Coca Cola. Got it living on the edge. 10 of the ball. Hazard goes right. These are the 1, 2, and the 10. Dan. Great tournament, hasn't it? Uh, it's been an absolutely incredible tournament. Even watching from home, watching here is even better. It's getting quieter and quieter though as it gets, as it gets tense. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. I have to do the uh, Magic 106.7 voice. <laughs> David Alaboucher, Bedtime Magic 106.7 FM. Here on Bedtime It's a Brian Magic. Atherin voice. <laughs> Brian Atherin voice. You can watch Rupert Mac podcast on Spotify, YouTube. <laughs> I love Brian. I love Brian. He's a great guy. <laughs> Tim Matero and Calvin Locke host Rip the Rack Podcast. They're going to do it usually Sunday night. Every two weeks they're going to do it Monday night with the, uh, the three or four hour ride back to Rock oh, yeah. Long ride home. Rockland, Maine. Wickham five on the spare. That's the post. 15 up to one. Tim Hazard gets five. Match game. Copycat Society. The last two balls. Spare five. Last four ball of spare five. Bob trying to break up the poles for a spare. Looks good. Can't get to the ten. Oh, he got it to go. Hazard for the spare. Tim Hazer, 19 of the ball through two. I know, I asked him how to spell his, pronounce his name. It's Hazer. When you get like Paul Grant, everything else is hard to figure out. <laughs> Too many syllables in my name. Wickham and nine, 24 through two. 107 to 93, 14 pin lead for Coca-Cola. What's the lead here? What's the stats there for the uh, Marks? Uh, Mark on Ford working on uh, three spares. Coca-Cola working on two spares. One for uh, Aaron and one for Chris. I couldn't hear you. Can you say it again? <laughs> Coca-Cola's working on two marks. One for Aaron, one for Chris. Mark on Ford's going to be working on three marks. All spares. Tim, Jason, and Tim. Okay. Stacy on lane 20. Amanda Carroll on lane 19 gets three. Stacy at three to nine to start. Amanda at ten and the nine to start. I love her. I love her swinging motion. And rhythm. <laughs> the safe sign there didn't go. Hey, get that sword. Hold that sword, baby. 
Amanda, good try. Seven for Stacy. Nineteen through three, Amanda. Eight, twenty-seven through three. One fifteen to one hundred. Colt Cole up by fifteen. Mark Hart Ford, three to two advantage in the mark. So that's just three three, isn't it now? Three three. Am I reading that wrong? No, it's three two. Three two. I'm looking at that. Score they don't change sides of scoreboard. Mark Hart Ford the edge of the marks. Amanda right in the pocket. Good ball. And it leads up the eight and the nine. Sometimes that triangle is better off than that. But I think having that pin there would have been better on this one. Amanda seems like she's on her object pin most of the time. Yeah. A fierce competitor. Just turned 40. One of the best female bowlers in the game today. Stacy gets two. Amanda Callen, rhythm, trying to get this for a spare. Wanted to go to the woods. She missed it right. I guess you could say she the object pin, but I want to use that wood. Amanda Carroll a nine, Stacy with a six. Amanda 36 through four, Stacy 25 through four. The Magdalene on lane 20 from Arcot Ford. 17 through 2. Aaron Merrill working a spare on lane 19 to the left. 19 the ball. Right to the diamond. Merrill on the bonus. Head pin. 8 has the 8 and the 10. Three pieces of wood. 27 through 2. One string match. Two points for a win. One for a tie. Coca Cola is tied for first with Penny Lane. The defending champs. Aaron, good try. Penny Lane, 17 0, lost their last two. Coca Cola is tied. Harry's All Star, one behind them, the three losses. Upset upset round of today, match one against 1710 Hurricanes from Augusta, Maine. Eight for Brenda, 25 through three. Aaron, a nine, 36 through three. 141 to 114, 27 pin lead. For Coca Cola. Tied for first with Penny Lane. Penny Lane, the defending champs. Ball sails away, it's three. Harry only got three there, also. Opposite side. Looks like four for Brenda, actually. All right, you get the pronunciation of your name now, right? Yeah, Gelati. Gelati, right? Gelati. I like Gelato with Gelati. Right. Gelati. Brenda goes right, one. Aaron's off to the right. He's at the four horsemen, the one, two, four, and seven. Match 20 of 21. All separate broadcasts. Watch them all in Spread Eagle Productions later on. And if you haven't done so, please subscribe for free on YouTube to Spread Eagle Productions for great kettle and bowling. Well over 200 videos now. Brenda, nice shot for an eight. 33 through four. Aaron, a nice 10. 46 through four. 151 to 122. 29 is the lead for Coca-Cola. They control their destiny for at least a tie for first. And we're gonna cover both matches, hopefully. One of the matches is the next match anyway. We'll I believe Hook calls on the TV lanes down there, so we'll cover Penny Lane the other match if not. If you want to find out. Tim Cook with Mark Cart Ford working a spare, 20 in a ball. Craig Holbrook on the left, 20 through 2, open. Head pin a 3 1 split, fourth left, 3 6 10 to the right, 26 through 2 for Tim Cook. Holbrook half was to right, my least favorite shot. Punch out the three and the nine. Cook, good try. 
Holbrook trying to bounce back. Almost pulled it off. Has the 10 pin. Tim Cook has died. 35 through 3. Holbrook. A 9. That won't count out of the gutter. 29 through 3. One sixty to one thirty seven, a twenty three pin lead for Coca Cola. Tim Cook right in the pocket, pack of five, the hay bale plus a ten pin. The lefty Craig Holbrook, the Hall of Famer, gets six. Tough leave the one seven nine and ten. Almost like the Al Nelson shot yesterday, match number three. Thrilling victory at the end by one pin to pick it up. Spare and strike, like catch that match number three on Spread Eagle Productions, Mixed World Championship. Holberg almost said the same thing. Cook a nice out. Broke up the, tri the uh, triangle, gets a nine. 44 through four. Holberg. It's a nine. 38 through four. Update from Dan Esdale on the score and the, the marks. Uh, update right now, it's 146 to 169 in favor of Coca-Cola. Jason Gauthier and Tim Hassett will be coming up with spares. Chris Harris and Bobby Wickham coming up, Chris with a spare. So two apiece in the marks. Nope, one and, two to one. Two to one in favor of? In favor of uh, Ford. Okay, they're down 23 right now, right? Yes, they are. Okay. Yes. Dan, on the graphics and the commentary, Dan, great to work with you again. Oh, it's appreciate the uh, opportunity to work with you. Oh, I appreciate what you guys are doing. Hopefully, the microphone's picking you up here. I, I hope so. <laughs> He's with a good ball, tough break. On the head Let's get some wood to help, though. That wood yeah, there to the 3 6 10. Let's try to get to the 7 the 8. Here's Chris Harris. In the pocket, nine, three pin left up. Picks up the spare, the wood helped. It's Jason Goth here. Harris matches. Spare five, spare nine, 34 through two, a spare in the third. He's got three in a row, 44 and a ball through three. Jason got here, two spare fives, 30 through two, a spare now, 40 plus one. On the bonus, goes right, four has been left to one, two, four, and seven. He's got about 36% for Pro Bowls that would. All stats provided by Spread Equal Productions. Harris goes right, at least favorite shot, the half Worcester, two in the fill. 46 to three, Jason at 46 to three. Just missed it. Did, all, did what he had to do. To, wouldn't carry. It's funny how you hit the same shot. It doesn't go for somebody. Yep. How it, it depends on the spin of the ball, obviously. It's a 10. 56 through 4. Strong start for Jason Gauthier from Marquardt Ford. Left handed Chris Harris. Big out to 7. 53 through 4. Come his brother Danny Harris. Very competitive bowlers. Chris Harris. Who's the better bowler, you or your brother Danny? Early on. If you, had, if you, have, a, if you have a money match, who would it be? Me. It's already <laughs> happened. When he made TV, everybody thought he was the better bowler, but I showed everybody. <laughs> Chris Harris. Tim Hazert. Working a spare, seven field, 26 through two. Wickham, the Woolworth discount, five and 10. Back when things were actually five cents and 10 cents. Hoping that wood will roll back a little bit. Maybe a little more. Uh, Tough piece. How would, Josh, how, how would Josh Daly play the shot? That's the question. Let's bring in Josh Daly. <laughs> I'll answer that one. 45 miles an hour right at the five pit. Left side of the red line. Josh says left side of the red line. And almost, he didn't listen. He didn't listen to Josh Daly. He didn't get the memo. 
Came close. <laughs> Easy to be an armchair quarterback, isn't it? Where come for a spare? No. Hazer 10, 36 to 3. Check out the new restaurant bar here at Academy Lanes. Just opened up Friday. Beautiful facility. Plenty of room to sit. Bar, mixed drinks, alcohol, food. Check it out. Academy Lanes, 125 Hayrell Mass on Main Street. 34 through 4 for Bob Wickham. 36 through 3 for Tim Hazer. I want to thank one of our sponsors, Merrimack Valley Foot Specialist and Dr. David Greenblatt of Hayrell. Did my foot surgery? Years of severe pain off and on. We had a talk, and we decided to go to surgery, and been pain-free ever since then. Check them out at 62 Brown Street in the Holy Family Hospital. That's Dr. David Greenblatt of Merrimack Valley Foot Specialist, Averill Mass. Where it's no pain and all gain. Pays it the 4-7 for a spare. He got it. Played that wood perfectly, 46 in the ball through four, second mark. Had a spare seven in the second. Work him in a spare five in the first. He got that one, what a shot that was. Pumps his fist, 44 in the ball through four. Team goes wild. Updating the score from Dan Esdale. Got a 13 pin lead here right now for Coca-Cola. 204 to 217, both teams working on one mark. Okay, I got a bone to pick with you. Okay. I hate when broadcasters say this, the losing score first. <laughs> they won 204 to 2. No, just pick it on you. Just pick it on you. I hear it sometimes, you know? Yeah, just a, absolutely. Just a pet peeve of mine. There's nothing wrong with it. I read left to right like you would in a book, and that's what I'm saying. <laughs> I know. I'm just, just, just messing with you. No, I'm sorry. I would never say anything deliberate to hurt anybody. No, no, no. Things get taken out of contact sometimes, tongue in cheek. Absolutely. If I have said anything to folks, I apologize. I'm all for the fan. I'm all for, I'm all for the bowlers. Amanda Carroll, two one split, six ten, and the seven to the left. Substitute for uh, Ford, for Marcon Ford. Like Char Charlotte, Charlotte Parody. Yep. I wrote a parody song, by the way. <laughs> of the Beatles' yeah, Octopus's Garden. Garden. Yeah. Amanda, I kick. Oh, a shot! Wow, a spare. Forty six half plus one. What a shot that was. Charlotte's open. Bob Wickham. Bobby Wickham. Bob, we have a, I have a problem right now. I have a problem, Bob, right now. What's that? I lost my wild voice. That's okay. <laughs> still, you guys still doing a hey, job. congratulations. Tied for first. Penny Lane. Unstoppable. 17 0. Two losses in a row. Now you have a chance to tie or win. Just keep rolling, see what happens in the end. Hey, good luck. Okay. Thank you. Bob Wickham, future Hall of Famer. Amanda Carroll working on a bonus, lane 20, right in the pocket. Can't get that seven to go as the five, the opposite will with discount. Five, seven. Charlotte Parrott, he had an eight, 33, half. Has the pack of five, good piece of wood to help. Without wood, they carry about 31% for pro bowlers. Without wood, said. Amanda Carroll tries to spin it over. Won't go. Charlotte nails it. Big mark for her. 43 off the bench. Plus the ball through six. Amanda at nine. 63 through six. Amanda Carroll teaming up with Brooke Anton Betteridge. The women's doubles event coming this September 10th, Saturday. Extra lanes, extra New Hampshire. Six shifts available. So Lady Bowlers, we need 12 women, six teams. 220 average cap. May 1st, 2022, Scratch Tournament, Women's Doubles Event, Extra Lanes, Extra New Hampshire. Contact myself, Paul Grant, Amanda Carroll, Mario Johnson, Mona Lamar, Faye Sawyer, Mario Johnson. For more information, Women's Double Event, September 10th. $2,500, first place prize potential, or more. Erin Merrill drops down six fours from the one, two, four, seven. She already ate one of these earlier. Brenda LaMagdalene, only three. Brenda 33 through 4, Heron 46 through 4.
I don't think anybody's ever won, gone undefeated. I don't, I don't know if you know. If I've found out if anybody's ever won undefeated for a whole year. People, I know some people only lost one, I think. In the yeah. But they Penny Lambert's are going to take it all. But all of a sudden, they've lost two in a row. The defending champs are now tied for first. Brenda goes to the hole. Aaron and eight. 54 half. Brenda, nice out, gets eight out of that mess. 41 half. Scoreboard on your screen at home. Paul Grant, Dan Estale, Bob Lee roaming around, getting all the stats for us. Update, updates, rather. Aaron goes left. Quarter, yikes. That's worse than a lemon drop. I'd rather, I'd rather pay the dollar for lemon drop. Like, help Caleb Prince for cancer than get a quarter Worcester. It was funny. I asked in the U.S. Invitation, would you do the quarter Worcester twice, both sides? And as soon as I said that, Explorer in the other lane did it. We come back, but only lose a five. I think the lemon drops are easier to make for a spare as well. Yeah. I, I, make, I mean, we just make a lot of court, uh, half Worcesters and spares. Brenda picks up for a spare. 51 of the ball through six. First mark for a string. Merrill, big out, gets two for a seven. 61 through six. Is that 259, 240 or is that? It is 259, 240. 19 pin lead for Coca-Cola, tied for first. Second to last match of the tournament. 22 strings, 22 teams, 21 strings, three days. Day number three, match number 20. We may have match. We may have a 22nd string for a playoff. Full string is a tie. Holbrook goes left, gets four. Craig on a high level at 61 years old. Tim Cook, 44 through four, had a spare six in the second. Holbrook looking for his first mark. Oh, he nails it! What a shot! Piece of cake. Oh, easy, easy. 48 half plus nine, and Cook picks up for a spare. His second spare, 54 plus one for the half. Most of the best bowlers are here on display this yeah, weekend. Absolutely, and they're showing it. Some could make it for work schedules for other reasons, but 90% here. You're I'd say are the top bowls in the world. Cook six in the spare, over at four in the spare. Craig 52 half, 60 half for Tim Cook. Over at half Worcester. Cook got the two on the left. Holbrook hooked it right. That's a Paul Grant shot. 58 through 6. Tim Cook at 10. 70 through 6. Updating the score of the marks from Dan Esdale. 279 to 266 in favor of Coca Cola. Tim is going to be working on a spare when he comes up across from Bobby Witt, who's also going to be working on a spare. 1 and 1. 1 and 1. Chris Harris right in the pocket for a strike. Let go, almost. Eight pin left up. Marquardt gets eight. Has the one of the two. Generous leave. Chris 53 through four had three marks for to start. Jason Gothier Harris gets it to go. Four out of five. 63 half plus one. And a spare for Jason Gothier, 66 half plus one. 289 to 276, 13 pin lead for Coca-Cola, two marks apiece. Round 20 of 21. Top team wins $10,000, 500 for runner-up. Top five get paid. Harris, the bonus, and the pocket, check mark. 
Gauthier, nine on the fill. Big fill, 75 half for Jason Gauthier. Chris Harris, 69 half. Hooked it left. Gauthier spare, two in a row. He's got four marks in the string, 76 to, can't read it from here, 85 to, that's not right in the score, but that, that fixed the area is now. 85 in the ball through six. 75 half of that spare nine, 85 in the ball through six. Chris Harris for a 10, yes. 73 through six, make that 79 through six. 305 to 295, the lead is down to 10 for Coca-Cola. Rock hard Ford trying to play spoiler. Bolt, ball is here, the anchor ball is on stairs. Bob Wickham, 54 in a ball. Tim Hazer, 46 in a ball. On the spare field, the pocket. Nine and a half. 53 half of Bobby Wickham. From Pembroke, Mass, future Hall of Famer. A great guy, great ambassador of the game. Hayes in the bonus. Off the head pin, gets six. Lead is 13 for Coca Cola. 52 half. Wickham for another one. He got it. Back door in the wood. Anyway, they fall. 63 half, that's right. Hazer picks it up for a spare. 62 half. Great bowling by all these guys and ladies. Absolutely incredible bowling. If you have time to stop by, yeah, come by and watch the rest of this, folks. You're missing out. Update, uh, Penny Lane is uh, winning their match handily by about 60 right now. Um, who, who are they bowling? Doesn't matter. Look him seven to the fill. Half whisper the fill. That's a Paul Grant fill. Two the spare. Bowling, uh, nothing to lose. Bob Wickham, 70 half. Hazard, 64 half. The lead increases for Coca Cola. Five more. Up 18. Wickham for another one. Off the wall. He got it. What a shot for a spare. Fires his team up. 80 the ball through six. Hayes with a triangle. For three in a row. No. But that was for a 10. My mistake, that was the third ball. 73 through six. What a match. 341 to 322. It's a 19 pin lead for Coca Cola. Dan Estale, the update in the marks. Update on the marks. Uh, yeah. All right, Mark on Ford coming up. Three marks to one for Coca Cola. So, advantage Mark Hart Ford. Absolutely. So, we're close to a virtual tie. It's about six and a half average for a spare fill, about 8.3 for a strike fill, based on spread eagle production stats for Pro Bowlers. Charlotte, Charlotte Parody filling in here. Your third box is coming in. Half was to left. And that was on a spare. That's good news for Coca Cola. 45 6. Amanda Carroll, 63 through 6 open. Half was to right. Charlotte throwing off the same foot as a delivery. Has the 5, the 4 to the left, and 10 to the right. One piece of wood. He's only going about 20%. Half whiskers for spares. Randy gets five. Three. Leads up five. Charlotte trying to get a couple here. And does. Good pinning. A nine. 54 through seven. And to Carroll. Nice ball. Spare. Where's the ball, Randy? Where's the ball? I thought that was a spare. That's a 10, I guess, for Amanda. That's a 10. My mistake. Get ahead of myself again. That's all right. <laughs> 73 in a ball through seven. Again, we're, a lot of obstructed view here, too. Can't see some of the shots. 
Garrett, he gets eight. Good lead, the four and the seven. Two pieces of wood in front, one to the right. 18 pin lead for Coca Cola. Panda, six, the one, two, four, and the eight behind the two pin. No wood. Charlotte for spare. She got it! 64 and a ball through eight. Big spare for her. And a first spare. Looks good. Oh, you got to be kidding me. A pin. Blue down. Once again, an object pin. Nothing to show for it. Nine. 82 through eight. How did that not go? Huh? I, I have no idea. I thought for sure that nine pin was going. All right, update from Dan Esdale on the, on the score and the mark situation for each uh, side. We're at 360 to 343 in favor of Coca-Cola for the score. However, marks wise, two to one. Mark card for the advantage, two to one. Down 17 to Coca-Cola. Brenda Lamagdalene on the spare gets five. The lead is 12. Now it's one apiece for the Marks. 56 to six. Aaron Merrill, pack of five. Hay bale, 31% chance to convert. One of spread eagle production stats. But that was on a spare. The correction, that's not a spare. She's open. Brenda's open now also. Aaron trying to pick it up. We try, at least at the five and the nine. On the object pin. Friend to a seven. 63 through seven. Aaron Merrill a nine. Picks up two pins. 70 through seven. Pins are at a premium here. Absolutely. Young Bulls never throw a ball when you get frustrated. Never throw a ball away. You never know. It may come back to haunt you. I've known so many matches. I've been a part of it. You lose by one pin. You look back and say, oh, I missed that shot. Or, I didn't try, I did focus hard on that shot. Every pin counts. Brenda, right in the pocket, nice ball. Just the, nine, the five pin now, eight pin went. Aaron Mello, right in the pocket. Diamond, not anymore. Half was to the three nine, the six to the right. Won't be easy. Brenda for a spare. Looks good. She's got it. And she picks it up for a spare. What a shot that was. Aaron Merrill, 80 to ball through eight. Brenda Mag Magdalene, 73 to ball through eight. What a match here in Haverhill, Academy Lanes. The Mixed World Championship, second to last match. 22 teams, 21 strings, three days. Day three, 20 of 21. And we could have 22 could strings, but there's a tie. Only be fitting. Corey, Corey. Jim cooking. Craig Holbrook up right now. This is uh, Corey Elisi. Corey Elisi, co-host of with Jordan Britton for the Candle Pink Corner. Tell the viewers about the new podcast, Candle Pink Corner, how they can get involved, and how they can get the... Uh, Free subscription. Yeah, so twitch.tv slash candlepin corner. If you hit subscribe and link your Amazon Prime, it's free. And until the uh, middle of July, anything we get for our proceeds is going right to Candlepins for Cancer. So go ahead and subscribe. What about the, the Wild Shirts, too? The, the Wild, wild shirts. shirts. Yep, absolutely. Lemon Drops. A lot of things going to that Candlepins for Cancer. Uh, it's a great cause, so just keep it rolling. And you going to have a live broadcast tonight? We're going to try. We're going to try and get live tonight around 9 o'clock-ish, sometime around there, see if we can talk about the talk about the world. And live, live chats involved also. It's Candle Pink Corner with Corey's Elise and Jordan Britton. Yes, sir. I'm on, two, I'm on like four hours sleep every three, every night. This week. Two hours sleeps every night. Get some rest tonight, Paul. All right, thank you. We'll see you later on. Thank you. Corey will be helping out tomorrow in our ACST conference semifinal. And by Flynn Music, Smell is Fast, Danny Finn against Jordan Britton. 7 p.m. on Facebook, Candle Pin Chat and Bolinor Network. Back to action here. Jason Gothier, a spare. 
Coming up next, right now, Tim had, Tim uh, Cook had an 8, 78 through 7. Craig Holbrook a 10, 68 through 7. 7, 9, and 10 for Tim Cook. Trying to shoot for a spare. And what a try. It wouldn't quite go. Excellent effort. Wood coming out of play. Will have to be removed from that 10-foot line. Holbrook in the hole. That's the 5, 9, and the 7 to the left. A turn of events all of a sudden. Penny Lane, the freight train, 17 0. They lost the last two. Now Coca Cola tied with them for first place. Harry's All Stars with three losses were upset by 1 7 10 Hurricanes. They came storming in today. Highlighted by Scott Royce's 169. Check out his double strike nine on Spread Equal Productions later on today. Lemon drop to our left there. Tim Cook at 10, 88 through 8. Craig Holbrook at 8, 76 through 8. Paul Grant with Bob Lee Rover reporter and with Dan Esdale. Dan, your thoughts so far on this match? A little bit low scoring. Tough, tough fight. Great shots, not a lot of great breaks, lots of head pin hits with some tough breaks, especially for Craig Holbrook in this one. You know, a lot of people like high scoring games like the NBA, but uh, football, but sometimes you can have a great match with a low scoring game. Absolutely. That match, that instant classic we saw a couple of swings ago, Coca Cola and um, Penny Lane, Penny Lane absolutely. was 530, 530 to 520. That was a thrilling yep. match. Yep, absolutely. Absolutely. Back to live action here. Harris drops down nine. He's 79 through 6 coming in. A tough two fill for Jason Gothier. They have a two two fills in his spares when they had the advantage, 3 to 2. 85, I think 87 through 6. Having a great string. Harris for a spare. Got it. 89, the ball through 7 for Coca Cola. In the hole for a field goal. Jason Gothier, 95 through 7. What's the lead here? Dan right now it's 14 for Coca Cola with uh, Chris Harris and Bobby Wicker both on spares. Two to none. Two to none. Now Brenda has one coming up actually, I think, right? Uh, Stacy and Brenda, yeah. So two to two in marks, oh, right? Charlotte and Brenda, yeah. Yeah, Charlotte. Two, two to two in the marks then. Yep. 14 pin lead for Coca Cola. Marks are even up. It's Diamond Leaf. For Jason Gothier, Chris Harris on the sphere, three six right side, four to the left, seven in the fill, ninety six through seven. Lead is twenty one for Coca Cola, tied for first with Penny Lane, trying to beat the defending champions. If they went out right, they at least clinch a tie in the right for one string playoff. Gothier at nine, one oh four through eight. Harris wide right for an eight. 104 through 8. 422 to 402. The lead is 20 for Coca Cola. 12 boxes to go in the match. Anchor balls. Tim Hazer on the right for Marquardt Ford. 73 through 6. Bob Wickham. 80 to ball through 6. Thrilling match here in Haverhill at the Mixed Worlds Championships. This will be the home of the World Championships this November. Veterans Day week, right here at Caddy Lane's Haverhill, Mass. It's great to have some of the Canadian bowls like Calvin Locke and Jill Wood down here. A lot of bowls like that up north. It's great to see the Canadians able to uh, escape, get down here. I saw Calvin and uh, I forget who else. There was a couple of more at the uh, Wickham, Eastern Easter Classic. Wickham on the bonus gets seven as the seven, nine, and ten. Wood to help. 87 through six. Hayes, it's open. Great to see the people from Maine. To have covered some of the Maine bowlers of late. The Maine State Open in Scarborough and the uh, Canada Fisher Cancer all up around. Belfast all play. That was a great match. Watch that Spread Eagle Productions. The Paul Dyer, the owner of Belfast. Yep. Uh, all play lanes. And Mark Carrier, clutch. That was a, a Mark Weber, Matt Hoff. Great, great match. match. Ten stringer. Wick of spare. Missed the object pin. Wood carried it. Wouldn't go. Hazard eight. 
81 through 7. Bob Wickham with at least a one pin gain. Drills it for 10. 97 through 8. The lead is 29. Coca Cola. Bob Lee. The match of most interest, Penny Lane. Uh, has well in command. They're leading by 90 over nothing to lose. Um, so the two, so they would, they're the team with two losses. Elsewhere, we've got Universal Screening leading by 30 over PC Enterprises. Drywall Concepts up 45 over New England Flooring. Tough Power Sports leads by 35 over Academy Lanes late. Coca-Cola leads by 20 here. Uh, Harry's all, all, is that right? 20, 29 right now, 29. Harry's a spare. 99 the ball from eight. Sorry, Bob. Harry's All Stars has a 35 pin lead over MGS Construction. Prices Wood Flooring leads by 50 in their match against High Low Dispensary. JV's Seamless Gutters by 15. Team Goat is even but has a ball in hand with bottom shelf. And the Hurricanes have a lead over Stars and Strikes by 16. Okay, thank and you, Bob Lee. On the other, and on the other channel, it's a very tight match. Um, between D Generation X and Academy's Checkers. Thank you, Bob Lee. The update. Tim Hayes, a big spare there. Wickham missed it. But for nine. 106 through eight. The News Titans here. Mark Hart Ford trying to play spoiler. Update from Dan Esdale on the score and the Mark situation. 28 pin lead still for Coca Cola right now. 448 to 420. Mark Hart Ford working on three spares. Coca-Cola working on just one. Okay, it's about 13 pins on average, give or take, the average pro bowler. That virtually cuts into the teens. 28 pin lead, Amanda Carroll from Gray, Maine. One of the top female bowlers in the game today. On lane 20. 82 through eight's open, gets seven as a triangle to four, seven, eight. Charlotte Parity filling in here, working a spare, 64 in the ball, in the pocket, pack of five, 69 to eight. The lead is 23 for Coca-Cola. Marks are even, two apiece. Is that right, or two to one? Two to one now, Mark Hortford still has the lead, and Amanda missed it. Mark Hortford, two to one advantage in the mark still, down 23. Parity for another one. Oh, she got it! The wooden edge did! Clutch spare in the ninth! 84 on the ball. Manta Carroll for 10, gets 9. 91 through 9. The scoreboard you see at home does not include the fill yet, so it's a little behind on the scoreboard, so I'm adding the 5 fill in there. That's already in there, actually, my mistake. So it's 69 through 8, 79 on the ball through 9, so it is correct. Every house has different scoreboards. Mandy Kelly for a big, strong finish here in the 10th box. Right in the pocket, nine. A pin left up, needs to go right at it. Stumped a foot, wanted the strike. Charlotte on the fill, seven. Wood to help, half was to three, nine to 10. A boatload of wood, 86 to nine. Charlotte coming up huge here in Haverhill. Mandy Kelly for a spare, got it. Right in the nose, one one the ball in the 10th. Charlotte for another one. Oh, good try. Missed the object pin. The wood didn't carry it. You didn't hit that object pin. You missed the three pin. That was the difference. One more match to go after this for $10,000. 10 to Charlotte. Good pinning. 96 off the bench. Smile on her face. Great performance by Charlotte Parody. For Mark Hart Ford. Mandy Carroll working on a spare. Mandy resetting. Takes a deep breath. Swinging those arms back and forth, back and forth. On the bonus. Just off that pin. Gets six, seven. Big seven. 108 for Amanda Carroll. Big spare in the 10th with seven on it. Update from Dan Esdale on the score of the mark situation. 474 to 452 in favor of Coca-Cola. 
22 pin lead. What's the mark situation? Two marks for Marcotte Ford. It's a one right now for Coca Cola. The amazing thing about that finish, I think, Paul, was that uh, Charlotte came in and had a 71 half from 5 to 10. Six boxes, she went 71. She came in with only 25 pins to her name. Aaron Miller, thanks, Dan Esdale. Aaron Miller, pack of five. On the bonus, 85 through 8. Brenda, big fill, nine. Nine in the spare, 82 through eight. Shave four off the lead. Aaron Merrill for a spare. Off to the right. He's up the three to the right, the five to the left. Thrilling finish here in Haverhill. Academy Lanes, Mixed World Championships. Brenda, another spare. That's two in a row, three in the last four. Aaron Merrill at 10, 95 through nine. Brenda Le Le Magdalene, 92 in a wall through nine. Lead is 18 for Coca-Cola. Three marks to one advantage also for them. They can cut it in single digits. Merrill, spread eagle plus to nine, bad timing. Great ball, too accurate. Brenda in the pocket, thin hit, mixing and matching. Gets eight, got a break. Has the two to the left, the 10 to the right. Bunch of wood, 100 through nine. Merrill's wide right, leads up six. Big swing here. Charlotte Parody and Brenda LaMagdalene coming up big here from our card Ford for another one missed the object pin wood coming out of play about to be removed Aaron Merrill a tough five 100 string right down to the wire no surprise as they clear the wood Josh Kelly taking the string off for Coca-Cola Saving him for the critical final match of the tournament. Again, if there's a tie, it'd be a one string roll off for ten thousand dollars. Whatever five thousand top five teams get paid. Brenda nine. One oh nine for Brenda Lamagdalene. Great string. Four ninety four to four eighty eight. The lead is six, I believe. Six pin lead, right? Yeah, it's six pin. Six pin lead, and the mark situation is one apiece. Or is it one none? No, just one none. One nothing, right? Yep. Mark Hart Ford. Ford we have a virtual tie. Six boxes to go. Hope Cole controls the destiny for at least a tie in the first place. Oh, Craig was a great break. Breaks of the split has the 10 pin. Penny Lane has stopped, stopped their two game losing streak, winning big. Four's been left the one, two, four, and seven. They go about 36%. Oh, oh, he got robbed. You gotta be kidding me. Big break from Marcotte Ford. Tim Cook for a spare. Punched up the two. Tough break for the Hall of Famer, Craig Holbrook. Just a great gentleman, a great trainer, teacher of the game. Over the 10. Wasn't there. Nine. 85 to nine. Tim Cook tried to grab a couple. Missed it. A seven. Two pin swing. 95 to nine. Five boxes to go in the match. Who wants the $10,000? We'll find out after the next one. 503 to 495. Coke Cola up by eight. Mark Hutt Ford with a mark for their anchor bowler, Tim Hazer, when he comes up last. Holbrook in the pocket. Nine. Wobbling five pin left up. Second opportunity for a spare and a single pin. Cook goes left. Oh, a quarter. Yikes. Seen a lot of those here this week. The lefty for a spare. He got that one barely. A sigh of relief. Anyway, they fall. 95 and a ball in the tenth. And look at this. The head pin only. Wow, how often do you see that? 
You gotta be kidding me. Nobody says I hit the head him once. Wow. Can, can, am I seeing things? I know I'm sleeping. Am I seeing things? Are you yeah, kidding me? Yeah, but the two pin was missing. It's okay. And a tough, tough box. Tim Cook. Five box for a hundred. We gotta put that in candle pin chat. Count the two pin was gone because he got the quarter. Wow, mark that down. Ten yeah. bucks for Jason. Tim Cook, mark that down. <laughs> wow, you're gonna be kidding me. Craig Homer, the bonus, a big seven fill, 102. Four boxes to go in the match. Update from Dan Estill, the score in the mark situation. 20 pin lead now for Coca Cola, 520 to 500. Tim O'Brien's going to be working on a spin when he comes up, though. Nothing for Coca-Cola on the box. Tim Hazer on the spin, right? Tim Hazer, that's right. My, my that's fault. right. What's the name, right? Yeah. Chris Harris. <laughs> 104 3 a great string. Hooks left, but gets the four horsemen. Minus one, the one, six, and ten. Jason Gothier, pack of five. 31% success rate for Pro Bowls Up Wood. What the spread equal production stats. All these matches will be on Spread Eagle Productions. Subscribe free on YouTube. Spread Eagle Productions. Harris is fair. The ninth. 114 of the ball. Tim's up the quarter. Coca Cola putting the pressure on. Mark Hortz Ford's going to need a couple of marks. Trying to grab three. Gets one for seven. 111 through nine. 23 pin league for Coca Cola. The marks are even. One apiece. Mark Court Ford looks like they're in double strike territory now. Get getting there real quick. Ten thousand dollars for first place on the line after the next match. Five thousand with the runner-up. Top five get paid. Harris the bonus delivers seven. One twenty-one through nine. Oh, you gotta be kidding me! A thin hit. Look at this. Mark Court getting robbed here. The last couple of boxes. You gotta be kidding me! Yikes. Wood to help though. Take a snapshot of that picture, folks. How often do you see that one? Jason got there, punched out the head pin, last one. Oh, what a try for Harris almost. Had him here to carry up on her feet up the bench. For a spare, no. Harris, 10. 131 for Chris Harris. Coming up big. Nice out, a nine for Jason Gothier. 121, two boxes to go in match 20 of 21 from Haverhill, Mass. The Mixed World Championships. Tim Hazen working his spare, could use a double here. Dan, Dan updating the spare, the uh, total. 39 pin lead right now for Coca-Cola, but Tim is on a spare. 31, right? Yep, 31. Is that 516, right? Five, yeah, yeah. 31 pin 31. lead. It was just down to single digits a few minutes ago. Six pins. All of a sudden, it's ballooned to 31. Wickham goes left. Gets five. Needs a double. We need a double in the 10th box. Eight in the fill. 99 through eight. Needs a double in the 10th of any chance. Wickham for spare, almost. Couldn't quite get the dagger. Spare. Still have a chance. 109 in the ball. 9 He's a double up. Wickham for a 10. Yes. 116 through 9. Coca Cola controls their destiny for at least a tie for first with Penny Lane, who won earlier after losing two in a row. After a 17 0 start. Wickham, 3 1 split. He's it on the spare. He's a strike, and that'll do it. Good effort by Mark Hart Ford. Valiant effort, falls short. 113 through 9 for Hazard. Got to applaud the effort from Marquardt. Absolutely. Great battle. Oh, great. Oh, Wickham a clinching spare. It was academic anyway. 
couple of tough breaks from Marquardt Ford, that one pin, head pin hit. What a whistle to fill. And then uh, Jason Gauthier Jr. with that head pin hit. That Unbelievable. Eight box, Tim Hayes at 121. Great string, 546 for Marquardt Ford. We're going to sign up in just a moment and get ready for our final round of the Mixed World Championships from Haverhill Mass Academy Lanes. Check out the new restaurant and bar while you're here, too. Next time you come by, Wickham 7 to fill. Big finish, 133 for Bob Wickham. Coca Cola is tied with Penny Lane for first place. Dan Eskill, we're going to sign up now with Bob Lee, Paul Grant, Sansol, and we'll see you in a few minutes for our final match. Could be a playoff match after that. Thank you. Everybody.